already seen the scales and uh, we have seen letters now uh, we are we can move to a topic called as outcomes so course outcomes uh, as you all know that uh, course outcomes are uh, statements or attributes which are expected uh, out of a student by completing this course like the qualities that a student attains after completing this course so we can uh, create course outcomes for every course what we have or on the other hand we can even create uh, course outcomes or activity outcomes for every activity we uh, create here so that is also possible uh, so from the admins point of view these course outcomes can be created uh, for the whole uh, module lms from the administrator or it can be given to the teachers uh, you know, administration to create course for his own courses and so on so here in this uh, video we will be seeing the teachers part so as a teacher we can create course outcomes from your end and uh, in order to do that what you can do you can just go to this uh, grade option and uh, under that we have outcomes so uh, i have previously created one outcome uh, that you can see here the outcome name is uh, c121.1 so i'll uh, show you how to create a new outcome so we'll go here you go to this edit outcome you will find a menu called as add a new outcome so you'll we'll just click it and uh, this is the full name of the outcome so it's not uh, good to give the whole outcome statement here instead we can uh, have the outcome number here and it's up to fully up to us to uh, decide what could be given here uh, let me say that uh, my outcome uh, name is c uh, 132 sorry 3132 dot 2 and i'm just giving the same name as the short name here and uh, this outcome can be measured with the help of the scales that has been created by us so you can click this it will be listing all the scales that are created and also the default scales uh, let's say that uh, we'll be using the demo scale 2 which we have created previously and also a description is i just want to describe this outcome so the students will be able to create web pages with the images let's say this is uh, one of the outcomes so the outcomes number is c132.2 and the outcome description is given here and the outcome is measured with the help of this demo scale 2 you can save this thing now how to assign these outcomes to the activities we do or to the courses we do by default uh, these outcomes are uh, you know uh, created under this course so they come under the course but uh, now how how to assign these outcomes to the activity so let's go to the unit 1 assignment 2 which we have already created and uh, let's say we want to assign the outcome that we have created just now to this assignment 2 so i will go to this edit option click this edit settings so we have already uh, done a lot of uh, things here one is uh, assignment name and the description and all these stuff and uh, let's go to this outcome part uh, i told you before that i already created an outcome previously so that is 121.1 and this is the recent outcome that we have created so you can just click this uh, this menu displays the list of outcomes that are assigned to this course so since we have only two outcomes that is displayed over here so if you want many outcomes you can just keep on creating one by one so as of now this assignment comes under this outcome so i just click this enable this and i save and return to this course so when you are uh, assessing this assignment the outcome menu will also be displayed to you so we can uh, create another example assignment and then we will assign an outcome 
let's add an activity i'll go to assignment so let's say this is uh, assignment 3 create a web page Pages. and so your course so it's a simple assignment where the students have to create a static web page with the okay let's uh, keep it very specific so i'll call it as two images right? and display the description on the first page i'm not going to upload anything so all the other settings have already been explored so i'll just make it quick So I'll go to the grade part and I want to scale it under the scale name called as demo scale 2. So it's a simple uh, direct grading and now followed by all these other menus have already, already been explored. So I'll go to the outcome, I'll select this second outcome and I will save and display. So as you can see, it shows a summary of the grading part where uh, none of the students have submitted it yet. So I'll move to the students window. Okay. So I will uh, click this again. So I have uh, a new assignment here. Let me submit this assignment very quickly. So add submission. So just I have to drop the course file. Let me take a file. let me submit it save changes and it is submitted yeah it's uh, submitted now we'll move to the features window for uh, evaluating it so this is the teachers window so I'll go to the third assignment uh, yeah one student has submitted I'm going to grade it so I view all submissions so this is the submission that has been done by the student. So go for the grade. As you can see, the outcome is also added to your grading part. So this is what I meant. Uh, so it is not only your uh, regular grading scale, but also you have to grade for the outcome. So the regular grading scale, let's say the uh, submission is perfect and uh, we will go for uh, best option. And uh, whether the students have attained this outcome or not, you have to check. So Maybe I'll go for best again because I consider he has attained uh, everything. But it depends on the teacher. Sometimes the students' uh, marks may be good, but they might not have been at, uh, might not have attained this uh, exact outcome. So they might uh, end up with some of the other grades here. So it's uh, purely up to the teacher to decide on this part. Just save and change. 